loves and welcome back to today's H&M Autumn Haul. This is part two, so if you haven't seen part one, you can watch it after this video if you're just needing some more H&M Autumn winter goodies. Um, it was so big I had to split it into two parts. This always happens because I just get so carried away on H&M's website. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Before we get into today's video, I've got a really exciting sponsor to share with you. So with Christmas coming up, I think this is actually a really lovely idea for a gift um, idea as well. So I've got these gorgeous fragrances sent from, it's called Dialect, and they're a carbon neutral perfume company. Um, they basically make sure that they've skipped all the fancy stuff, all the fancy parts about perfume and just get right down to the scent, um, which I love because it means I can recycle the cardboard boxes, I can recycle the packaging. Um, and they're just really plain and they're just really plain and simple, but I think it looks so beautiful and elegant um, and nice and minimal, which I love. And their fragrances are inspired by some of the um, top brands that we see in the shops but they are a fraction of the price and some of the perfumes they create um, are inspired by ones that go up to 260 pound now these fragrances you'll be happy to know are under 40 pound they're under 40 pounds some of them are 29 some of them are 39 but most i think are under 40 39 pound which i think is just a great price point for a perfume it's something not too expensive that you could buy for yourself but also really nice to buy as a gift another thing i wanted to mention is they're 100 percent vegan and cruelty free which is amazing and should be the case for all brands these days but it's unfortunately it's still not so my favorite one the one i'm going to talk to you about first is the floral harmony now this uh, this is inspired by chloe so if you guys have ever smelled the chloe perfume this is inspired by that and you'll know it's kind of quite pricey i've never actually purchased the chloe one but this is like so fresh so perfect for like just every day um but one of those scents i reckon you'll get asked a lot like oh what are you wearing where's that from just because it feels like just such like an effortless gorgeous perfume it's got peony in which is i think why it's my favorite because peony is my absolute favorite scent ever um it's also got rose in which is another one of my favorite scents cedar and white musk um so honestly if you're unsure what one to go for, this would be my best bet for you. However, definitely have a little browse at their website because they've got some amazing scents. Another one I have to quickly share with you is the Neroli Escape, um, which is inspired by Neroli Portofino. And also I have the Citrus Untamed, which is inspired by Sauvage, which is the Dior Sauvage. So if you've ever smelled that, it's quite musky, quite manly. I think it is quite an, um, gender neutral, but it's definitely more manly. Um, I, like Reese could wear it and it would be normal, but I think if, if a woman wore it, it would be quite like, oh, that's nice what you've got on kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I really, really love those. Definitely have a little check out of their website and see what they've got. If there's anything that you fancy, if you've got a favorite fragrance that maybe you're looking for a bargain version of, then Dialect Fragrances is definitely for you. So thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. And let's just get straight into today's H&M Awesome Winter Haul. H&M haul. I kind of lost my voice a little bit, so if you can't, well, no, it's fine. I feel like it's back, but yeah. Um, hi guys, and welcome back to this H&M haul, um, autumn winter haul part two. Let me know what you want to see more of actually as well, because I feel like I've lost my like YouTube mojo a little bit. I'm a bit bored of just doing haul after haul after haul. So if there's like any styling videos you want to see, like I do do a lot of ways to wear over my Instagram. Um, but if you want to see like those kind of things maybe in more depth over here, let me know. Otherwise, any like content ideas, chuck them in the comments and I will get to it, okay? Because obviously Christmas is coming up. Do you want like Christmas gift guides? Do you want like ways to wear your favourite coat? Have you got a piece in your wardrobe you're struggling to style? Um, are you looking for something you can't find the perfect one? Whatever it is, you pop it down there and I will do my best, okay? Okay. Start off with this really gorgeous skirt i absolutely love this if you are subscribed you may have seen the jumper that matches this in a previous haul i think i did it right at the start of like well it was right at the end of summer but it was a start of like when the autumn season stock came out 
Um, and there was a really cute jumper to this. I didn't actually end up keeping it, which I'm kind of regretting now because it would go lovely with this. Um, really lovely, lovely knit skirt. I think like these shorter mini skirts are very in this year and I do really like it. And I do feel like they're actually not too short. Like it's actually a nice length. Considering I'm five foot nine, I don't feel like anything's on show. I feel like the size is really nice. I am size 12 and I always buy a medium in H&M. Um, and also any of the links to shop anything will be down below in the comments section. So head down there if there's anything you fancy. I love it. And it's got a little stretchy waistband for when you've got a bloated belly. My fave. I also think it would look a lovely under, under this coat with lovely brown tones in. I think this is just really, really dreamy colours. Do we not love this? I really love this. So I mentioned in part one that I was looking for a coat that wasn't just plain, um, with a bit more colour, a bit more detail, and I feel like this is it. It's a wool blend, and it's the kind of tones that I wear a lot. I got it in a medium, it's quite oversized, quite large, it's quite like square and boxy, but I like it. It fits nice, and it just feels quite expensive, and yeah, I really like this one. Um, I feel like it's really going to be really easy to just chuck on over any outfit and it kind of elevates it. I feel like it's much more of a day one, day coat, but you definitely could wear it for more of an evening occasion as well. Maybe like some black skinny jeans, black teal boots, nice black roll neck, that kind of vibe. What do you think? Let me know. This absolutely gorgeous blazer. Now you can see I'm going for a lot of checked prints. I'm really enjoying like dog tooth, hound's tooth, this checked print this year. We've seen a lot of those kind of things around. That's a tweed. Um, and yeah, I really like, look at the material on this as well. Really lovely material, really lovely buttons. This is giving me very Zara vibes. Very, very expensive looking, very Zara. Um, the fit on this is dreamy. And I just think it's one of those gorgeous pieces. You know, if you want to go like dressed up smart casual somewhere, just pop this on and boom, you are smart casual. Blazers just gen generally do that anyway, but this one is like extra does that. So yeah, absolutely love it. And I feel like it'll be a really good staple to have in the wardrobe. Really versatile, could easily wear it with like roll neck jumper, some skinny jeans, maybe some wet leg leggings, heeled boots, um, jumper dress, maybe a mini skirt, nice um, thin knit jumper. Very, very versatile, so yeah, we are here for this one. The two classic like really good knit essent basic essentials um, for the wardrobe. So this gray one, which is a lower neckline, a bit like this one, um, it's quite oversized, but I really like it. It's got these slits up the side. I think it's actually exactly the same as the brownie beigey one from the last haul. Um, I really love that. And I loved that paired with the midi skirt. Oh my God, that is such a combo. I think that was probably one of my favorite things from the haul. It was such a nice combo. I just really, really, you feel so nice in it but it's so comfy and like that is my goal in life is to find things that look chic and are so comfy <laughs> if that's you as well let me know so this one and then i also have a black roll neck as well and i mean i'm not going to talk about these in too much detail because at the end of the day they're just two really plain jumpers but they're really good classics for the wardrobe if you need to update your um staple pieces to, maybe you're looking to make a capsule wardrobe or something like that then a grey knit and a black roll neck knit are like two key pieces that you 100% need. Now this is actually the perfect knit, it's so soft, it's a really nice length, it can be tucked just up and in, or it can be worn out. It's not super long this one, so this one would definitely be more with like jeans, whereas this one you could definitely tuck and also leave out over more like wet look leggings, leggings, um, would look really cute with just a skirt poking out the bottom, but the same with this one as well. You can wear a little skirt at the bottom, tights and boots. That would look really cute, but obviously, yeah, just really good staples for the wardrobe. And H&M are just really great for like the knitwear basics, aren't they? <laughs> have this absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this could be a Christmas jumper because I feel like it's very festive looking, isn't it? Like that Aztec festive feel. Um, this is a medium. Look how lovely and long it is. It's really nice, soft knit as well. It's not itchy at all. Which I do feel like a lot of like Christmassy festive jumpers can be so itchy and gross and this just isn't this is lovely i really love this it's like not too long to feel like a dressy kind of length but it's just perfect for checking on with leggings especially if you're like me someone you just sometimes you just don't want to wear jeans you just find them really uncomfortable and you're like i just want to wear leggings why can't i find any jumpers that are long enough this is the one and i just feel like it's 
Pretty bit for looking chic, but yet cozy. Okay, this dress I was really unsure of. It's got a very, very wide, low, like scooping neckline. I just don't think it suited my shape at all. Um, so for me, this is a no, it's gonna go back. However, it's a lovely ribbed midi dress. And if you've got like, I don't know, this is like your favorite area of your body, if you just like to get that all out, then okay, maybe it's for you. But for me personally, I just felt like it was a bit meh and a bit like weird. Like you definitely couldn't wear a bra. You'd have to wear a strapless bra. I hate strapless bras because they're not comfy. So for me, this was just a no, but it is a really nice, like thin knitted ribbed material dress. Nice midi length, could easily be worn, like dressed up with a little pair of heels, um, a nice little cute bag for like a date night look, but easily dressed down as well with like a nice chile maybe, some biker boots, much more casual day look. So very versatile black dresses, knit dresses. Um, I already have a few of them. But yeah, for me, this one, the neckline just wasn't working. And the item, unfortunately, that just didn't work for me either. Um, I was after a pair of faux leather leggings. These have like a really soft inside, but, and I think these would be great on anyone like five foot six and under, but for me, I couldn't get them up high enough so the crotch like just was hanging a bit low, just so it looked all a bit weird. Um, and if I pulled them up where they needed to be, they would have been like cropped pedal pushers. <laughs> so they were just like an absolute no. Um, they have got a little bit of detail on the back as well. Like H&M actually do have real leather ones that are like 200 pounds, which is just crazy because I just think they look the same. Um, I think these are like 20 or 30 pounds. So if you're that kind of height, then I think these would be great for you. But just like I said, for me, they're just not well fitting. Um, I did get them in a size 12. So if you are like in between sizes, I'd probably say size up because they're definitely on the smaller side than the larger. Whilst we're talking about faux leather, let's have a little look at this lovely faux leather trench. I'm actually really enjoying this. It is noisy. If you saw my trench coat haul, I did a whole video on like finding different kinds of trench coats and like finding the right one for you. So if you've missed that, I'll leave it linked down below. But one of my factors was, was the noise it made. And this is quite noisy. However, if that's something that doesn't bother you and you want to look a bit like bad gal Riri -ri Rihanna, then I feel like this is the coat for you. <laughs> I would also say potentially size down unless you want it to be oversized. It's quite big, this one. Um, a lot of space if you're gonna be wearing like chunky knits and like chunkier clothing at this time of year. But if you're not wanting to wear like a lot bigger things, I'd consider sizing down. Maybe if you're just thinking about wearing leggings and a like a nice um, fitted, long sleeve crop or something like that, definitely size down. Um, yeah, I do, I do really like it. I like the material. I like the like le level of shine on it. Um, it's got cute little sleeves. That these aren't um, adjustable in any way. It's got a nice tie back belt around the wa waist. And then I do actually really like the trench detail at the back with the sort of back flap. <laughs> I don't really know what else to call it. Um, and I think this was like middle of the road range as well, price wise. wise. So yeah, let me know what you think about this one. Are we here for the faux leather trench or not? And this one is also made of 61% recycled polyester and 100% inside is made of recycled polyester. Moving swiftly on to this new little pair of very cute shoes. Okay, so have we seen the chunky loafer trend? And do we like it? I actually am uploading a video on my Instagram tonight of ways to style this pair of shoes. Not the exact one, actually. They're from Carvella, but these are a really good dupe because the Carvella ones are a little bit more pricey. Um, and these pretty much look the same, not gonna lie. They are really sweet. I really like the shape of these. I think they're not too chunky. If you're thinking like, I'm mm, not sure about it yet. I actually think they're a lot more versatile than people realize. And you'll see that if you do go over my Instagram and watch that reel, because I think there's about 10 ways that I styled them. Very different outfits as well. Um, they're really, really like just chill and easy to wear. And I do love the Prada loafers that are just everywhere, but I would personally wouldn't want to part with that kind of money for something that I don't feel like is going to be in fashion forever. So maybe opt in for a cheaper version, like a high street brand like H&M would be a good option for you. And I also think it's a really good way to, if you are considering investing in like the Prada ones, it's a good way to see if you get wear out of them. It's to just get a cheaper pair first, see if you wear them, see if you're reaching for them, see if you grab them. If you are, then maybe it's worthwhile investing. Otherwise, you know, just stick to the cheaper options. <laughs> But these don't look cheap. This is what I was saying earlier. I'm really good at finding things that look expensive, but are 
actually really well priced. I'm sure these were like under £40. So yeah, really happy with these. Really nice find. And like I said, if you want to see ways to wear them, pop over to my Instagram. I'll leave the handle here. But it's the same as my name is on my YouTube channel. Okie dokie, another nice really classic wardrobe staple and this is a lovely shade of grey there's actually so many shades of grey i find it really hard to find a grey that i love this is the grey that i love i don't love that dark grey and i don't love that mid wash grey either this is my kind of grey the nice light grey it's also got like a bit of a black and white fleck through it which i really like um i think jumper dresses are the ultimate comfort but ultimate way to look chic um, so yeah, if those two things are priority to you like they are to me, then jumper dresses are the way forward because they're so versatile, so easy to wear and so easy to just like, just effortlessly chic, which is my favourite thing ever. This is a really nice shape, it's a really nice length, it's quite oversized, very comfy, could easily wear this with like a pair of Converse and a nice, um, what are they called? Nice... Bomber jacket? No, that's not what I'm thinking of. Puffer, like a long line puffer coat. Um, or like a gilet for more of like a chilled look. Then you could easily wear with nice heeled boots as well. Nice little necklace over, a little like fancy bag. Um, and yeah, that looks really great as well for like more of a smart casual look. So very versatile, very in love with this. And I'm pretty sure this is like under 30 pound. So that's a yes in my book. And then finally, I feel like this is the coat of coats. This is an absolutely dreamy coat. Now I know I just slated dark gray, literally slate color. Um, but I take it all back when it comes to coats. For jumpers, I'm all about the lighter gray, but for coats, I feel like the darker gray is much more chic. It's much more like Paris, Milan, like it's much more fancy it just looks really smart it's like the best next thing to black in my opinion um and this is absolutely perfect i feel like this one was a little bit more expensive i got it in a size 12 it fits great it's a wool blend the material is a dream the fit is a dream it's got these really nice like thick heavy buttons it's got this like fancy sustainable italian fabric label i don't know what that means but it looks posh and it just feels like if anyone's ever bought one of them really like posh coats in Zara, they're like over a hundred quid, they're like 120 or 30, I think. It's like one of them. And it's just re <laughs> It's so lovely, it jumped out of my hand. Oh my god, it's really heavy. <laughs> it's like an arm workout holding it. It's a really lovely heavyweight um, coat. I'm just checking if it had anything on the sleeve, but it doesn't. It has no detail on the sleeve. It just has a little waistband around the waist and it has the same um, that little like flap that you want to do at the back and the bottom. And yeah, it's just lovely. It's got like nice pockets. I can't stand it when a coat's got pockets here. It's like, why are you ever gonna like what, walk around with your hands and your tits? Or they're like here and they're straight. Why would you do that? Why, like there was, there was a teddy bear coat in Prima, and I didn't buy it for that exact reason because it was like pockets and I was like, well, that's just not practical. I want them to be like this so I can put my hands in them and be comfortable. So anyway, it has the perfect pockets. It's the perfect coat. If you're looking for a nice, classy, grey coat like that. Um, yeah, I love it. And that's probably my favourite coat of the haul. Let me know if there's anything that you absolutely loved down below in the comments section. As I mentioned, everything is down below for you to shop easily accessible if you are looking to purchase any of my wardrobe i am actually selling my pre-loved items over on vinted so i'll leave that in the description box as well and also if you're not already following me on instagram and tiktok then make sure you do click to follow and see lots of ways to wear especially things like those chunky loafers things that maybe you've been thinking about and you're not really sure how to style um i do tend to do lots of ways to wear over on my instagram so make sure you're following over there if you enjoyed today's video hit the thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed for next week's video also if you have any recommendations of recommendations if you have any videos that you want to see um, from me then please leave them in the comment section below with Christmas coming up like maybe like Christmas vloggy style videos but something a bit different um, or maybe some gift guides or any like I don't know occasion wear if you've got any occasions coming up and you need something to wear for them please leave me a comment in the description box below and just ask basically 
Also, you're more than welcome to reach out to me over on Instagram in my DMs. I'm more than happy to have a little chat with you guys over there in any of your fashion faux pas or things you're struggling with. So yeah, look forward to hearing from you and Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button um, as I upload videos every single Wednesday. Um, and obviously lots of Christmas content coming up. But on the note of Christmas, I'm just mentioning again, our sponsor for today's video, Dialect Fragrances. And um, I just think they're a lovely like little Christmas gift, maybe to give um, anyone really, because they're just such an affordable price point. Also, not only are they super affordable, I actually have a discount code for you guys, which I will leave on the screen and below in the description box um, for you to shop really easily. So I hope you do go and have a little nosy um, and enjoy your new fragrance. Um, maybe there's one inspired by your favorite perfume, um, but my all time favorite is the floral bouquet one, so which is inspired by Chloe. So highly can recommend that one. Um, and if you're looking for one for maybe for your man, then definitely go for the Sauvage. Sauvage inspired, which is the Citrus Untamed. Um, and as you can see, just really, really beautiful packaging, really simple, very minimal, um, to the point, all the focus is on the fragrances and all the packaging is recyclable and they are carbon neutral product. Um, so I just think that's incredible. So yeah, thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video and I will see you in the next one.